Hi guys and girls. So before we get started with our series this coming week, I thought I'd show you the add-ons we have installed. This is not really a guide on how to install item add-ons, but if there's a demand for that, I could add one over time. Uh, basically, your Elder Scrolls add-on folder is just your documents. So you go to your documents, then Elder Scrolls Online, Live, and then Add-ons. And it should be spelt like Add-ons. If that folder doesn't exist, you can create it. And basically, you would just go to any add-on site and you would download an add-on usually they're zipped and you would extract it in there and then in game what you can do is go to add-ons and hit reload you don't actually have to reload the entire client you can reload them on demand which is really cool there's also a client called minion and i'll link that in the comments if i remember and if i don't yell at me and it will install and basically find your add-on location uh, without too much issue if it does bug out which it does unfortunately uh, close it and restart it uh, sometimes the first install acts up but the second time it usually works so let's go through what we got so we got awesome guild store basically uh we're not at a, a guild store right now but basically it's just supposed to make the guild store a little bit more unique wise uh, they don't add any descriptions i can't really tell you here but basically they add some functions and features that just make it easier to use the guild store just an interface change slightly dark ui uh makes my ui a little darker looking um gives uh everything a better uh look to it in a sense so you can see how like nice the the shading is on everything like how it has a, like a shade and more modern looking it doesn't look like skyrim or 3d bubbly weird looks to everything so basically the ui just gets a kind of a, a makeover in that sense okay there you go you can see on the bottom there what it looks like down there as well so it just makes everything cleaner and nicer looking more modern which i like quite a bit uh, so what else we have? Destinations. This add-on has various points of interest to your maps and compass. Basically, it just adds things like, um, oh, there's a dungeon over there or things like that. So it just gives you a lot of information. Dungeon Tracker, I've never done it, but adds completion of the information in Dungeon Group and Public uh, Trial Tooltips, overhauls the Activity Finder. Basically, just a bunch of information that is useful. Dustman. Uh, basically, when you go to a vendor, it'll pop up a screen to sell. I don't know if you can turn that off or on. Uh, probably you can. Um, we'll look through some of the options after. But um, basically, it'll just sell your junk, the, like the really crappy junk. And if you really want to make more use of it, you can actually add other things to the junk list. Easy travel. Uh, I don't think I've gotten this to work quite yet. The idea is when you travel to a location, it will attempt to find a player in one of your guilds or friends list that's there. And if they're there, uh, you get sort of a free travel. If you don't know about that in um, Elder Scrolls Online, if you right click a player's name, that's your friends list you, or, or guild, you can travel to them for free without paying. Or you could go to the Way Shrine itself and click there and it's free as well. Harvest Map is a very cool uh, mod here. Unfortunately, it looks like when you um, when you have some of these mods, they populate. At least the MM uh, mod populates in a horrible way. It's like a million folders in the thing. But uh, anyways, uh, so Harvest Map basically... Uh, when you harvest stuff, it puts it on the map. It makes a, a better use of... Oh, this can't run there. Uh, makes a better use of easily finding materials. Uh, when we do our Let's Play series, of course, I'm going to disable it because it'll just get distracting and annoying. But uh, I'll give you an idea of how awesome this is. This is going to blow you guys out of the water compared to World of Warcraft and how their harvest map works. Okay, there you go. It actually puts icons in the world, and uh, they change depending on what you're uh, farming. And you can have, I've seen dozens on the screen at once, basically. And uh, yeah, pretty pretty damn cool if you ask me. And uh, yeah, so it just makes it easy. And of course on the map as well, it shows here. And then there's something even cooler, which I think you have to do through key bindings or there's an option you can open. Once you've done this for a long time, let's say you harvest a lot in this zone or another zone. Um, I can actually show you another zone, the one beside this. I've harvested in one spot a lot. Um, there's an option where you can actually make it where it'll tell you what's the most optimal pathing and it will actually draw lines and kind of do, do like a pathfinder and show you like a really cool route what to take to get the optimal uh, setup for harvesting. So very, very like simple at first, but very complex 
uh, and f- very featured wise. And a lot of add-ons are like that. They they kind of have a well, it looks pretty simple and plain to begin with, but then you get into their options and their functions and features, and they they do so much. And not only that, in uh, ESO, the add-ons can have actually have hotkeys. Like they, they, there's an entire hotkey section here. If you go to controls, you scroll down here. And look at Trade Center, and there you go. Some people add colors and whatnot. But look at all this. This is all for the different add-ons. Pretty insane. Okay, so you got uh, Harvest Map. Lore Books adds lore books on the map. Uh, same with Lost Treasures. And there's also one at the bottom here called Sky Shard. So let's show you that on the map. So uh, the one, mo- uh, so Sky Shards, you know, they place the Sky Shards. Uh, you can see some of the books around the map. I think you na- might need those for the Mage Guild. I'm not quite sure. So you might not want to do that till you pick up the Mage Guild stuff. I think you get EXP every time you get one of the lore books. Um, and then, uh, so things like this nest over here or mine, I believe that was the first that on I told you where it shows you destinations on your map. But uh, basically, yeah, it adds a lot of information to your maps and makes life a lot easier. And you can see all the sky shards just in uh, uh, Cryodol alone. Look at, isn't that insane how many there are? Holy crap. Uh, uh, when the update comes out, uh, literally tomorrow, um, and actually by the time this video is online, it'll be today. So when the video, when uh, when the um, update comes out today, update uh, twenty one, I believe they call it. I don't know the version number. Um, they're gonna have an interface on the left here, and it'll actually say you need, say, one hundred twenty eight sky shards from that zone. Pretty sure there's not one hundred twenty eight. Maybe like fifty, sixty. I don't know. But anyway, it's really really cool, and you can see how add ons really make a difference in this game. Uh, okay, so we did the harvest map, the the lost treasures. You have the master merchant. Basically, it's a very awesome mod. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, there you go. You can open up with slash mm. I was just hoping. I was just guessing. Uh, so the most simple basic thing you see is this is the master merchant, and uh, basically these are things that uh, I have sold myself over time. So I've been cleaning out my bank so we can have a nice fresh let's play series. And, uh, yeah, this person's name is Analax, but it's a- Anna, Anna Lax. I wonder if it's supposed to be a play on words like Analax or I don't know. Anyways, you can see I've made a, a pretty penny over time, which is pretty cool. And, uh, ooh, look at this. Show your info. So this is everything. It gathers all the information of our guild and what they've sold. It does up to, what, 10 days or so? Wow, that legs a lot. And then just show my information. There you go. And this shows just what I've sold over the last maybe 10 days. I don't know if it has a certain thing. Seller information. Here you go. So which guild I sold at. How much I've done in sales. I didn't even realize that. Really cool. So, uh, yeah, really awesome. <laughs> and then, oh, look at this. Send 50. Send 5. What is this? Hope you enjoy. Blah, blah, blah. Well, welcome. Uh I don't know what this is. Oh, send a note? Oh, uh, I think that might be... Oh, I see. This must be the author, and you can donate uh, gold to the author, I guess, or something. That's pretty cool. Never thought of that. People must make a fortune on that. You guys got to donate gold to me now. Uh, anyway, it's pretty sweet. Okay, so, uh, yeah, that's the Master Merchant. And also, it scans. Every time you load up the game... Um, when you talk to certain things, basically it does scanning in the background. It kind of displays it. You can disable that in the add-ons. But basically it does a lot of scanning and gets you some pricing. P-Chat, basically, well, it says overhaul the way text is displayed in a chat box. There you go. Points of color. Points of color is probably one of my favorite ones. As you notice, the icons have colors. Look at the icon. They're kind of lit up. They're beautiful. Um, usually it's basically white or black, basically like, you know, like you have, if you've never discovered it, it's usually say, you know, um, you know, it's hard to show on this map, right? Cause, but usually, you know, this is black. And then when you go to it, it'll just be white. That's it. It basically like inverts it in a sense. Um, but this one actually adds, you know, color and oomph to it. You can see here, actually look at that. So, uh, yeah, it's a perfect example instead of, uh, being a you know white once you get to it, it's actually this really cool looking color. So that's a, I think a more newer one too. So you probably haven't seen many people with that price tooltip. Additional tooltips prices works with MMTTC ATT. 
Uh, so I guess that's the three main trading things. So I guess we have that. PvP meter, don't know much about it. I know it's in my thing. I don't even know what it's for, to be honest. Uh, here it is, PvP meter. Uh, it just shows information. Don't know much about it. I just, just thought I'd try it out. Harvest map not bound. Oh, look at all the harvest map information here. So I can actually turn off the pins and turn off the compass pins. That's cool. That's cool. And then you can do a, a filter too. So, huh. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we got. So we got add-ons. Uh, we got price tool tips, PVP meter, quest tracker, which is this thing over here makes quest tracking nicer. Uh, already you can see that there's other add-ons that get in the way a bit, but uh, yeah, you can open and close them. They automatically show in the, the zone you're in. Uh, they have a decent tool tip when you hover over them. It's just a clean way of doing it way better than the default vanilla version. Um, I know that was a pain in the butt. Uh, you got Surrender. Uh, basically, you already see it on the screen there, on the, the top there. Basically, uh, if we add buffs, you can see it there. It, it'll add uh, debuffs, things like that. Basically, it's just a fancy um, offensive and defensive um, dots, long-term buffs, things like that. All that stuff uh, basically displayed on the gra uh, game. Now, you can enable that in the game itself. They're just like little square icons, I think, and they blink and have a number on them. But uh, something more fancy with a bar, it's, it's just fun. Plus, it says the full name of the skill, so it helps you learn what's going on as well when you're playing. Okay, uh, Sky Shards, of course, on the map we saw. Uh, Tamriel Trade Center is another trade type center. Oh, that's the one I told you about. So that's the one where you actually have a program and you legitimately download uh, the data and then you put it in the game. You can also upload data from the game and upload it to their site. And the site lets you look on prices and get an idea and things. Really cool. The Elder Bar is this cool bar up here. So it shows different information. You can change lots of things. I have a lot of things disabled. And I added a few other things. So pretty cool. Uh, Irrich Skill Point Finder. Uh, I actually do not know... What is that? I, I'm going to have to look that up for a second. I actually don't know what that one is. Uh, Urich Skill Point... I, I spelt... I didn't even... Oh, whatever. I spelled his name. Okay, there it is. Let's did it right. Okay, so he has some issues in real life. That's too bad. So description. Have you ever been in a situation where you need more skill points, but you have no idea where to get them? Well, today is your lucky day. Uh, skill point fire is a graphical interface showing you the skill points that you have and haven't earned throughout the entire game. You can show and hide the window, uh, binding a hotkey or entering a slash command. The slash commands below. Okay, so that's cool. Um, so let's try that for a second. So if we do this, oh, uh, I guess we have to click up there. I guess our mouse was doing. It. There you go. Holy crap! So there are four hundred and sixteen total skill points. It looks like you get sixty-four from your character. You get eleven from main quests. You get two from some volume disc something or other you get one from a moral wind character i have no clue what that means you get one from somerset character you get 50 from alliance war ranks and you get one from the maelstrom uh arena and that's a total of 129 then you get one from every single public dungeon so that's 22 you get 143 of them for storyline quests and sky shards so, yeah, so each zone, I guess, has... Oh, okay, so storyline, so 0 of 3. So, basically, you get 3... Quite, a lot of them are 3. Some of them are, you know, uh, 7, 1, etc. But uh, a lot of them are 3. And then the sky shards in the zone are a lot more, like up to 16, which is crazy. But uh, keep in mind, that's, like, divided by 3, too, right? And I guess these are... I don't know if you'd get one whole one or if you need 3 to get one. But uh, either way, it says a total of 88 and 143 here. And then group dungeon quests. So these are basically ones that you would queue up and do with a group. Uh, you get another 34 of them. So <laughs> that is really cool. And it even shows you. I I've played with some characters just seeing what they, they do. Um, so you can see that uh, they also show. That's cool. So yeah, that's a that's a very very useful add-on actually. It helps you really 
you know, figure out what you're missing and stuff like that. And then uh, we got uh, improved locations, improved quests, and the mini map. So improved quests is adds additional information, quest tabs in the world, uh, and adds different information to the map. So uh, I guess it improves the map somewhere. Don't know much about that to be honest, but I know it's popular and also improves the quest window, which once again, I really don't know if it really is doing much of an improvement. If it is, it isn't. I, I don't know what it looks like normally. Uh, and then of course the mini map at the top, right, which is badass. Okay. So after all of that, then you can go into, um, add on sorry settings and add ons now uh unfortunately that voltan votan guy he doesn't spell his interface stuff properly so he literally has his own interface menu here instead don't know why but whatever but majority of add-ons will be in add-ons and they got a really nice uh simple setting system here where you can go through and easily uh use it so master merchant i was telling you it spams you sometimes so uh, you can, first of all, turn on account-wide settings. It means that I'll never have to touch these damn settings again. And uh, then you don't have to worry about it. And then you can do something like uh, verbose. Verbose is already off anyways, it looks like. Uh, so my other characters that I play when I make a new one should also be off, which is nice. Um, and uh, yeah, stack prices, show cost information, blah, blah, blah. So you, you can you can adjust a lot of things. There was one I wanted to show you. Oh, Dustman. Here you go. So here's the dust one. And uh, let's see what Miscellaneous says first. So um, automatically sell items is on. Enable when talking to a merchant. If disabled, you need to use the sell trash keybind or sell items manually. Um, unfortunately, remember items marked. Use remember. Hmm. It does it automatically, but it doesn't seem to actually let you skip the dialogue. It might be something the game forces. I'm not sure. But pretty cool anyways. Oh, here you go. There you go. Remove the dialogue. So it should automatically sell your junk right away. You get your dungeon tracking information here. Uh, destinations. Dark UI. So you can do glossy bars instead. <laughs> uh, there's a way to unlock it too. Uh, where is the unlock? Do, 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 do. Actually, maybe it was an unlock on this one. Actually, that was uh, another one. Uh, but yeah, so you, you get the idea anyways. Here's the harvest map. Outdated settings data. <laughs> but uh, yeah, pretty cool. And then, of course, it told you that you can have binds and everything. So it gets it's, it gets really complex. In fact, it gets overwhelming. And so I suggest if you're a new player, try one or two things. You know, I had a lot of time to play around and learn from pretty much every single mod and try it out. Uh, not every single add-on, clearly, but um, I, I, I did uh, play around with quite a few of them. So I already got a bit of a head start. And, uh, yeah, it was quite enjoyable. Uh, one thing you might notice is, you know, I had all the different um, trading mods on here. I would like to say that Master Merchant is def definitely a must for me, mostly because if you list something on the shops, this one gives you the data from that, where I found the other one, the trade, uh, the TT whatever one, yeah, the Tamriel Trade Center, I found it doesn't put any type of number automatically into that. So if you put an item in it, um, and if you didn't have the MM one installed, it would just put on whatever the game decides it should sell for. So if something's worth, you know, 5,000, it might say it's worth 22 gold. Yeah, so you 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 want to make sure you probably put MM in there anyways and as a younger. precaution. I Plus, having both numbers run. gives you an idea. Like, what I go this by is, well, if there's a big run. difference between MM and TTC, then I know there's an issue, you know, and maybe I'll put the number higher or lower, you know, things like that. But, uh, yeah, I was just going to go to the bank quickly and show you here. So you, you, one thing I didn't realize is that when you're in a guild, you can just go up to this guy and go to guild maybe? store, and then this pops up all the time. You can close it. You can reopen it down here as well. And uh, basically, you can actually change your... Oh, I look at all these uh, options up here. Um, but you can actually change your the guild that you want to look at right now. So let's just go to the mud crab, whatever. 
Um, but when you put something on here, for example, uh, where do we you go to sell here, right? And I want to sell this fish. Well, this fish is worth, uh, uh, you know, 660, it's saying, right? And when you look at the actual stuff here, you can see that MM says it goes around 81 point something. And TTC says 82.51. Pretty much, pr you know, right on that dot. So it works out well. Now, I don't know why this gets in the way because, well, I guess it shows us here anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, but, yeah, it's kind of overlapping. Anyways, and then we can list the item, and there you go. So you, you get the idea of why it becomes a bit useful. These are fish I was just trying out fishing. Uh, so once again, the fish here, 87 and then 83. So you know what? I don't. Like, it's so little. I'm not going to bother changing it just to get a couple of gold out of it not worth it in my opinion these i can't even see them selling uh probably better to vendor or even just delete it not even worth it but uh yeah if you're gonna list a bunch of random junk you're using up your slots you're wasting you're wasting everyone's time no one wants that anyways probably no one's gonna buy one single you know crappy item they want you know a big listing but uh, anyways, yeah, so I hope that is a good roundup of what our add-ons are. Uh, of course, I will add and remove some add-ons over time, and things will change over time. So if that happens, you know, like months down the road or whatever, and you guys want a new add-on update, I, I'd be more than happy to do that, of course, for you. Um, I'm a big supporter of add-ons. I'm really happy to see add-ons in uh, the Elder Scrolls Online, it was one of my favorite things in WoW, and I think WoW, in a way, couldn't be WoW without add-ons. I know some people are also against them because, you know, some of them are, are a must, but I found in this game there isn't any add-ons that, like, you must have to enjoy the game or to even play with others. I find more the add-ons are more complement features and, yeah, makes trading a bit easier. But they don't make it, like, you don't have to have it for your raid, for example, or that's it, your raid is doomed. Um, so I think that's kind of interesting where um, it, it's a lot different. Of course, this game isn't about, you know, hardcore raiding and dungeons and stuff either. Uh, of course, they have quite hard challenges and stuff like that from my understanding in the end game. But it's not to the degree of, you know, uh, World of Warcraft where it's all about raiding and getting that end game gear. It's more about collecting gear sets in this game, which is kind of cool. Anyways, guys and girls, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.